Tonight, I'm going to show you how the French have an aperitif, which is basically a cocktail, a cocktail party. Um, the shortcut of saying it is an apéro. Um, how do I know this? Well, growing up, I spent my summers in France, and it was my favorite part of, as a kid, going to somebody's house and having a cocktail party and having a drink. Because in the States, I couldn't drink, but in France, I could. Wonderful. But anyways, so what is so important about l'apéritif in France, for short, apéro? It gives everybody a chance from coming uh, to your house um, to relax, to enjoy the company of everybody, have a cocktail, have some snacks, and just get ready for dinner. And that's what's beautiful about it. It gets people relaxed and ready for the dinner, which is so important, I think. Now, many times they will have a dinner at their home, or they will just have the aperitif, with the snacks and all that, and then you all go out somewhere for dinner. Very common. So tonight, what I am doing for my aperitif, my snacks are going to be oysters, which if you refer to my um, video on how to shuck them, it's very easy to do, and I'll show you how safely to do it. But basically, I have crushed ice, my oyster shucked, lemons, I put a little parsley for decoration, and that's going to be super yummy. Then, on another tray, I have salted chips. I have these little pancakes, like. Um, and then I have my caviar. And I have my creme fraiche, which, by the way, you can find in any grocery store. These pancakes, I got them from Whole Foods, which are super easy. You bake them for maybe 10, 15 minutes, and they're ready to go. Um, now, very important, mother of pearl spoons you must use so that you don't contaminate the flavor from silver to plates to etc very simple so the third plate we have here is basically i have a pate which this one is a pate de campagne next to it i have my cornichon which is these french cucumbers you can find in any grocery store nowadays um, there's just baby cucumbers pickled. They're wonderful, full flavor. And I'm serving a triple cream. Um, that's just a wonderful cheese from France. I cut some baguettes. And that's it. That's all. These are my nibbles. And now, what's my cocktail? Well, I'm taking a bottle of champagne. And I am going to make what we call in France a quille royale. Now there's many stories behind the story between where a quille royale came. I'll let you guys do the research. But this is amazingly good. So what you want to start with is the uh, cassis. And the American version is called black currant. Um, but creme de cassis is wonderful. We use it all the time. You can use it also in white wine, or just a dry white wine. And like you can see, I'm just gonna turn it in a circle. And then I am gonna get a spoon and mix that up. And there's my Kiel Royale, which stands for Royal Kiel. So bon appetit, bon soirée. Please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this. Good night. Mm.